Okay, so can you tell us what the NEVI program is? Sure. So the NAVI program, also known as the National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Program, is a $7.5 billion program that was authorized by what we call the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, um, which was actually uh, passed three years ago today. And the IIJA, for short, authorized tons of funding across the board for a variety of different infrastructure projects, including NAVI, which allows us to build out EV charging infrastructure across the U.S. So this funding means that each state has the authority and the liberty to use these funds to set up this infrastructure. How long does it take for a state to use these funds to move the progress forward? What does that process look like? Yeah, so all infrastructure is a slow process. It's not like we build a road in a day. We don't get to put up a bridge in you know just a couple of months. And EV charging is really no different. Um, there's a lot that goes into it. EV charging involves you know planning to make sure we put them in the right places, the right kinds of chargers. It involves a permitting process to make sure that that local jurisdiction has said, yes, this can go here. It involves making sure that we can connect to the grid and power it up. And then it involves getting the equipment, the actual hardware that we need to install. And then, of course, it lastly involves that installation process, which could all take a bit of time, just like any other infrastructure process. So what does the timeline look like for the different states? I would assume that, you know, some states might be further ahead, some might be a little bit more behind. What does it look like in the, in its majority? Yeah, that's a great question. And when this program was created, EV charging infrastructure was relatively new for a lot of states. So many states had to you know, learn about the, the technology. They had to learn about the vehicles to make sure that they were doing things right. And so so you're absolutely right. It each state is moving along a bit of a different timeline. That all being said, the NAVI map, which we're really excited to share with you today, can show you all of the locations that already have chargers and many of the locations that are expected to have chargers. And what you'll see is, you know, some states have been able to move a bit faster just because, you know, their state policies allow for that. And some states are still, you know, in the planning process to make sure that they get it right. And for those states that are still in the process of, you know, figuring out how to move things along or that aren't as for, far along in their infrastructure, are there any services or any any support in place to help them through the process? So one thing that I think is really exciting from the NIVI program is that part of the program was intended to create a first of its kind um, joint office between the Department of Energy and the Department of Transportation. Um, its name is, is very creative. It's the Joint Office of Energy and Transportation. <laughs> And essentially, this office was designed to support the NEVI program and to support states in implementing this program. So states, no matter what kinds of questions they might have or what kinds of support they may need, this office is dedicated to helping states along their journeys to answer those technical questions, to help them with their planning, to support their stakeholder engagement, to make sure you know communities can be involved in the process. And all of this also allows for peer-to-peer you know, -peer learning between the states. So the joint office takes all those insights, they can wrap them up, they say, oh, we've actually seen a similar you know, question in another state. Here's what they did. And it offers examples to say to states, like, here are some pathways that you can take to solve this, this question that you have. So you mentioned a map. What does the map encompass? What kind of information does it have? Yeah, so as you might imagine, 50 states equals a lot of chargers. So this map helps us to understand where are the chargers going? Where are they going to be? And are there ones that are online now that we can already start to use? So the nice thing about the map is that you can both see announced charging locations where we still expect stations to be installed. And you can also see stations that have already been energized, which means that they're already up and running. And the nice thing about the NAVI program is each state updates a annual plan. So we know exactly what's going on at each of these sites and when we expect future movement to happen. Can you walk us through it? Sure. Cool. So this is just a snapshot of the map. 
The map is still in progress. As I mentioned, we are still getting new information on a daily basis from partners, from states. So you'll continue to see more of these little blue dots up here on the map. Um, but essentially what you're looking at right now is a high level summary of the locations for primarily Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. I mean, of course, there's a, a bunch of other states uh, in this snapshot. Uh, but what you can see is that, especially for, you know, this early wave of, of NEVI announcements, that a lot of our interstate corridors, the ones that allow us to do long distance highway travel, those areas will have stations that allow us to essentially move from, you know, Fort Worth to Kansas City or from Kansas City all the way down to Albuquerque um, or Albuquerque up into, you know, Moab. And so I think that what we're, what we're seeing is, you know, this will allow folks all across the country to continue to, you know, support their long distance travel, of course, but also this means that all of these communities now have charging right there at home. So it sounds like the funding is making a lot of progress. What is the outcome of all of this? Why is it is this a positive thing? I think one thing that is really overlooked when you think about electric vehicles is that a lot of our charging happens at home. Most of the charging happens at home. But Sometimes we still need to travel maybe 400 or 1,000 miles in the car. And NEVI and the stations that are coming online as a direct result of NEVI allow us to do that. They allow us to you know, support our interstate travel or within state travel. And they really allow us to continue to drive the transition to electric vehicles because we know that you know, a consumer and a driver they're not going to switch to an EV unless they know that they can get a charge where and when they need it. And that's exactly what the NEVI program is intended to do. Thank you for walking us through it. Of course. <laughs>